Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. Let's look at the new Moyu Tanglong. Before we get started, I want to thank The Cubicle for sending this over. Stop by their shop and use discount code SpeedCubeReview for 5% off your order. So this is the newest cube to come from Moyu, and it's looking a lot like many of the other newer cubes out there. You have the square corners and the curved edges and centers. Many people are comparing the GANs 356 to this for good reason, but I feel it's more appropriate to compare it to the Kong's design Mei Ying. Yes, this has caps like the GANs, but the Mei Ying is around the same price and produced in the same factory. To get the basics out of the way, yes, it can cut well both directions, like the Mei Ying, and is near impossible to corner twist and hard to pop, although not as much as other cubes on the market. Out of the box, it was dry and scratchy. After setting it up and lubing the pieces, it became very smooth. The edges are very similar to the Mei Ying. There is a torpedo to prevent popping and a track to lessen the amount of friction on the pieces. The corners are very basic, but hold one major difference between it and the Mei Ying. While the Mei Ying is open and hollow, the caps on the Tang Long keep it feeling more like one solid piece. It is still a very hollow feeling cube compared to that of 356 or older cubes like the Weilong. The smaller 56mm size feels nice and the pieces are a bit more rounded. Is it a perfect cube? No. I tend to get small catches, but nothing that causes solve ruining lockups. Many people who like the Maying just wished for corners that were not hollow. Here is your answer. If you have a Maying already, then you probably won't find this to be any better or worse. Just slightly different feeling. If I really had to break it down in comparison between cubes, I would say that it has a controllability of the Yu Ying with the speed of the Mei Ying. This sits in between, making it a decent cube for someone who wants a fast cube, but one that's a bit easier to control. For someone that has never tried a Mei Ying or Gans 356 before, this will feel like a game-changing cube, but if you have tried those before and like them, this might not seem like a big step forward. Now I'm going to be giving this cube away in a future video, so please like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for that. Also, stop by SpeedCubeReview.com for more news and reviews. Thank you.